spectacular views of the Earth from the International Space Station on this Earth Day and back here on terra firma. President Obama issued a warning this Earth Day. Karen Travers takes a closer look at what could happen without action on climate change. Across the world, communities marked Earth Day. These kids in Tulsa, Oklahoma, celebrated with an environment-themed festival. And from New Orleans to Bogota, Colombia, people bike to work instead of driving. At least two million vehicles were banned from Bogota's roads to draw attention to the city's increasing air pollution. President Obama traveled to Florida to take a tour of the Everglades. <laughs> the president said that climate change cannot be denied and action cannot be delayed, and he's committed to the U.S. leading the way. Climate change is threatening this treasure and the communities that depend on it. And if we don't act, there may not be an Everglades as we know it. Christopher Swain is a clean water activist, and today he dove into some really dirty water to raise awareness. Here he is swimming in Brooklyn's heavily polluted Gowanus Canal. The 1.8 mile waterway is a disgusting mix of toxic sludge, garbage, and raw sewage. The Environmental Protection Agencies declared the Gowanus a Superfund site, and a cleanup is in the planning stages that may take a decade and cost half a billion dollars. Also in New York City today, the mayor announced a sweeping new plan to reduce the city's waste by 90 percent by the year 2030. To do that, the city will overhaul its recycling program and reduce the use of plastic shopping bags. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.